Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to State of the Squadron 55. Star Citizen fans, welcome to State of the Squadron. I am Montoya. To those of you who've reached out over the past month asking, hey Montoya, where are you? I'm good. I'm here. Thank you very much for your concern. Much appreciated. I just needed a bit of a, a reset. I needed to kind of take a step back and uh, take a look at everything from another angle. We've been here for 10 years, guys. It's been a long, long time. Hey, uh, I'll get to this at the end of this video. Let me talk about uh, what I've been thinking about and why I've taken a break for the past few months from uh, social media mostly. And uh, I'll give you my thoughts and we can talk at the end. The nice heart to heart. But for now, what I need to do is welcome a whole bunch of new members who I've never met before. Guys, State of the Squadron is a show where I talk about things happening in and around Star Citizen and this organization, Test Squadron. We have the honor of being the largest organization in this game, 22,610 members. Guys, thank you very much. I am honored uh, for you to join. Uh, why did you join? <laughs> I'm honored that you chose Test Squadron. Uh, I haven't taken a look at this list in quite some time. Corporation, 13, almost 13,600. Good work, Corporation. Explore. What's happening with you guys? What's happening in Explore? Someone tell me what's happening in there. Nova, getting ready to flip Explore. Good job, Nova. Very impressive. Eva Log, checking along. Grow over 10,000. Nicely done. ADI, about to crack over to 10,000. Good job, ADI. Uh, that is very, very impressive. These numbers, uh, I mean, I've taken a couple of months, I haven't actually looked at anything, and these numbers are exploding. Uh, the number of members joining orgs like this is absolutely astounding. Uh, I'm also seeing a lot of these icons, I mean, the, the logos for organizations, I don't even recognize anymore. So many new ones have popped up over the last little while. You know what? I get this question almost two, three times a week, people message me going, Montoya, do you have any tips for growing your org? Uh, you know what? I'm going to make a video about that this week. Uh, click the subscribe button, follow me on YouTube. Yeah, I'm going to make a video to give you guys some tips about how to grow your org uh, with a huge influx of people coming into Star Citizen. I'm going to give you our secrets to let you know what you can do if you have a small org or a large org, uh, how to get those numbers pumped up. So follow this video or follow my channel and we'll get that going. But for now, let me first give a quick shout out to all the new, well, I can't, well, okay, there's a lot of members. <laughs> I'm not gonna, I can't give a shout out to everyone. Uh, but let me say hello to Quantum Munch and to the Mighty Owl and to Big Fat Turtle 12, because I understand that the name Big Fat Turtle 11 was taken. Uh, so good to see you. TJ, how you doing? Fillion, Handsome Smooth, who's joined as affiliate. Hello, Devil Doc. Hey, Devil Doc G, I spoke to you on Twitter. I'm on Twitter. I spoke to you on Discord. Uh, how are you doing, Devil Doc? Good to see you. And uh, to the couple hundred others who've joined over the past month that I have not greeted. Hey, guys, hello. I am Montoya. Pleasure to meet you. I guess a bit about myself since we're going to be hanging out together. Um, you know, should we crack open a bottle of red and sit down by a candle maybe? And uh, <laughs> So first question I get is your accent. Well, it is a kind of an old South African. Um, I've lived in North America for many, many years, so the South African part's kind of rubbed off. Uh, I grew up in South Africa. I went to school in Toronto, uh, raised my family in North Carolina. My family's in the States. Uh, my wife's family is here in the West Coast of British Columbia, so we are right now uh, in the Vancouver area with uh, where my wife's family lives. But... Uh, uh, yeah, I miss North Carolina. Oh, North Carolina, congratulations on your new attorney general, by the way. He's awesome. But um, that is about me. So tell me about yourself. It might take too long. <laughs> but welcome, guys. Good to have you join us. Uh, what I want you guys to do, if you've just joined Test Squadron, is go to the Discord, get involved over there. You will see in the top left-hand side of our Discord, which I should have up in front of me, but I don't. There it is. On the top left-hand side, there'll be the events. Now, the events are run by the event coordinators, and uh, you'll see Serana, you'll see Cirrus Punch, Athy Chrome. Uh, sorry, I don't have the list in front of me, but there's a whole bunch of them who really put a lot of time and effort into running these events. Go have some fun, enjoy it, uh, get involved in events, say hello in Discord. It's a great way to get involved and uh, make the most out of this game, which is doing something amazing. Where was it? Wait, no, I had it. Oh, here we go. Jump gates. Can I tell you how long we've waited? How long? And this is going to look so stupid in about a year from now that we were excited about a jump gate. But 
there's been a whole no cash till pyro movement even, all right? Where people said, I'm not going to spend money in this game until I can get to pyro. Does that mean this unlocks your wallets? Speaking of wallets, I'm all over the place. How are we doing with funding? Falling short of last year. We'll dig into that a bit later. But um, yeah, jump gates. Message of the day. No intended publishers today. This is posted yesterday, I think. Goals for the week. Avocadi Publishers. We are currently still on plan to release 3.23. Stability playtest Avocadi on Wednesday, which is today. And a goal to have a second Avocadi static mesh, blah, 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 blah. Jump gates enabled on Friday, which is in two days' time. Jump gates will be functional, but full end visuals and gameplay mechanics are not a focus of this build and intentionally not integrated. Players will be autopiloted through the gate between star systems. If you don't know what that means, um, when you go through a gate, you're supposed to kind of navigate your way through. And if you don't do it properly, you get tossed out of it and you end up in the middle of nowhere. So you get an autopilot through. This is big because we've been waiting for this for, well, since the beginning. Uh, being able to travel from one system to another system is essentially what this game is all about. Being able to explore, being able to get resources, being able to go attack someone somewhere else. Traveling between systems has been the secret ingredient, the missing key for so long. And it's here. Um, finally, it's here. So this excites me. And very few things excite me lately. <laughs> Which brings me back to the topic of me taking a bit of a break. Uh, before I tell you more about that, about my reset and about what I'm thinking and where I see this going next, let me first give a quick mention. And I, I always forget to do this and people keep telling me you've got to talk about it. Montoya, you don't talk about it. You have to talk more about your Patreon and the people donating because I got to be honest with you. Because the game is continually delayed, you know, I, I have nothing but thanks and the, the highest respect <laughs> uh, okay not for you Susan Dad <laughs> I have nothing but the highest amount of respect for those of you who stuck around and play this game on a daily basis I can't do it I cannot wake up every single day and play Star Citizen. I will go insane. But there's so many of you who do. And those of you who are still have the fire and the passion, you know what? Kudos. Uh, nothing but respect that you've managed to hang around so so long. It, the light is at the end. of. The, we can see it. We can see the light at the end of the tunnel. It is there. So big thank you to Citizen Dad. And I know he says this with the utmost love. Okay. Fly Casual for 10. Thank you very much. Vavrik for 25. Thank you very much, sir. Appreciate it. Ben Boozer for 10. Terra Informer for 20. Thank you, sir. August for 10. Thank you very much, August. Uh, Garrick Duval, much love. And uh, we got... <laughs> okay, I got to stop showing this on screen because this kind of disrespect cannot fly. Uh, now, my Patreon, I, I'm horrible at this. I don't promote it. I don't feel right telling people, hey, go support the Patreon when there is no actual game. But truth be told, uh, it's been 10 years. I'm putting my time in and the donations which have been coming through Patreon have been awesome. Thank you guys. I much appreciated. Your names we mentioned at the end of this video. And uh, for everyone, for the 50 members who have been constantly donating through my Patreon, I appreciate it a lot. You guys have made a big, big difference. Now, let's jump over to, I've taken a bit of a break. And the reason is I need to take a step back and I needed a refresh. Um, I have been at this for a long time. We've been at this since 2013. And there's been several epochs during that time. Things have changed. I've changed how we approach the game has changed. What we do has changed. In the beginning, 2013, 2014, it was all about, you know, is this game even real? Is it vaporware? Will this game be made? We had no actual game. There was a hangar module. But a lot of the criticism from external forces were this game is vaporware, it's garbage. And I kind of stepped up and said, you know what? I'm going to white knight this shit. I'm going to white knight this hard. And look, truth be told, let's be completely honest, there was always a risk that the following year would tank and they'd run out of money and this game would flop. It could happen. Um, to be 100% percent honest with you 2016 answer the call uh when they said hey here's squadron 42 i go yoink no you're not getting it i was like well let's stick around and see what happens i was close saying i'm just gonna take a break and we'll come back when there's a game 
And 2017 had me concerned because funding dropped from 36 to 34 million. I wasn't sure. Look, no one was sure. But they were progressing. It was still going. Um, our content changed. Well, my content changed from just, you know, continually defending the game, saying, hey, it will happen, it will happen, it will happen. And then 2018 happened and funding bumped up. 2019 happened and then bumped up. COVID hit. Bam! This game is happening. There's no doubt about it now. My content changed to basically, you know, I don't need to defend it because it's happening. It's going to happen. And I went more to cover the content. Like here, there's a, a patch, and in this patch, they're adding this ship, and in this ship, they're adding this new weapon, and now they're changing the fire rate from this weapon of 10 rounds per second to 15 rounds per second. I'll be honest with you. I'm less interested in that content now. Uh, the, the reason I've taken this break now is I'm looking at what I've done. I'm going, that's useful. That was useful. Explaining what every patch did. Uh, explaining the changes of what's going to be happening. And like even right now, look, hey, this jump gate's coming. Cool. But for me personally, now that the game is in a trajectory where it's coming, um, I am less and less interested in the small changes. I am less interested in the, the minuscule change in fire rates of something or that change the pitch rate of a ship. Uh, I'm more focused and I want to be more, fo more focused on what is coming down the pipe as far as us playing as an organization. And uh, because that kind of stuff isn't really in the game yet and because a lot of the loops which people want aren't in the game yet, you know, I'm kind of an in-between stage where I'm personally not very interested in telling you exactly the differences between this patch and the previous patch. It's not something which sparks me anymore these days. Uh, and, you know, I got to find where we go next. Uh, I'm not completely sure. I, I, I want to entertain you guys. Uh, I want Test Squadron to be what we always envisioned that it could be. And I know I speak on behalf of Corporation, Nova, Evil, Atlas, Blackstar, Operation Pitchfork. You guys still around, Imperium. All these guys create these organizations because end of the day, we want to create something fun. We want to do something that's fun and exciting. You wake up in the morning, you come check out your org. What's happening? Is there a new spot to mine? Is there a battle taking place? I mean, do you have to go defend something? Do you have to go explore? Uh, it's been a long time coming. And we're there. We're close. You know, so I'm in kind of an in-between stage where I'm not interested in talking about what this patch is bringing. And I want to bring you the next thing. I want to bring you the next thing. But the game isn't really there. So I'm in an in-between stage. So hang around. Kick subscribe. Follow me on this channel. And uh, we'll see where that goes. But uh, back to the funding situation, 2024. Look, we're falling a bit short. I say... <laughs> Much to unpopular opinion, they should release the Idris to players and go, hey, uh, you want to buy 10,000 Idrises? We're up for sale. Let's go. Uh, funding is falling kind of in line with 2022 so far. Um, but look, there's a couple of ships coming down the pipeline. And uh, I have no doubt that they will uh, pull a rabbit out the hat for this year again, as they've done in the past. But as I've said every single year for the last five or six years, not every year is going or has to be a record-breaking year in Star Citizen. I don't expect them to crack 117 million for this year. In fact, if they do 100 million, if they do 90 million, I'd say, okay, that's probably the norm. That's all right, fine. Uh, but look, I keep on being wrong. I keep on saying, don't expect them to make over 78 million. Next year, they made 86. They don't expect them to make over 86. They make 113. I keep on saying it, and they keep on beating. So, hey, who knows? Maybe this year is the year I'm right where they don't crack 117 million. We will see. But uh, with that commentary, let's stop over there. I'm going to talk more in another video about where I stand on Star Citizen and where I can possibly see it going. We'll have a, a bit of a town hall, I guess, and discuss where you guys want to see it go also. And we'll start pushing content in that direction. But for now, thank you, everyone. And uh, to the new guys, welcome to uh, Test Squadron. Pleasure to have you join us. If you're new to Star Citizen, welcome to Star Citizen. Uh, go check out all these beautiful orgs out there if you're not a member of Test. Uh, if uh, our flavor doesn't suit you, there are plenty of great orgs out there. Give them a look. And uh, with that, I will sign off. So thank you once again to everyone who's donated. Welcome all the new guys. Please check out my Patreon. Uh, your support is most appreciated. And with that, I wish you a wonderful week. I will see you soon. And uh, be sure to check out my video about how to grow your org. Montoya.
signing what was my usual sign up that's been so long since I've done a video how do I sign off I forget I'm gonna make a new one Montoya out <laughs> catch you in the next one <laughs>